My mans, how's it going? I, uh, I created a virus. Take a look at this man right here. This is the first man infected with the mustard virus. I just came up with that right now. Uh, that's what I named this virus, the mustard virus. As you can see, the sun has no effect on this man. He is not burning. Yeah, I'm gonna get him inside before uh, this thing spreads. Look at this, bright, bright day. No effect on these guys. Why is this guy looking at me? Okay, a little update here. Uh, small problem. Uh, spread to a few people, but hey, don't worry. It's just a couple. I can deal with this. Hold on a second. Wh what are they doing? Are you seeing this? What are these guys doing? They're attracted to light. You can see that? Look at this. Uh, I, uh, this is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I, I think this is a problem now. I think. Oh my god, they see me up here. Dude, look at this! Yeah, so there you have it. I'm the last man alive. So you know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to survive for 100 days in this post-apocalyptic uh, wasteland. But here's the thing. The virus? It's mutating. I'm gonna manually make the virus get progressively more and more deadly every 10 days starting with day 20. Take a look at this man right here. He's an idiot. He's slow, he's dumb, doesn't know what he's doing, doesn't know where he is, he's a dumb guy. I could just walk right around this man. Well, you know what? Once the virus starts mutating, that's, uh, that won't work. Because this man's gonna get faster and faster. He's gonna do more and more damage. He's gonna get the ability to sneak up on me without making sounds. Every 10 days, this virus is gonna mutate. Day 20, day 30, day 40. It's gonna keep getting- the zombies are gonna get stronger and stronger and eventually... Well, you know what? I'm not gonna be able to walk around this man. I'm gonna have to hide from this man, and it's not gonna be just this man. No, it's gonna be a lot of this man. There's gonna be hundreds of this man. And I don't even want to tell you what happens if there's a blood moon. Y you'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm gonna survive something like this. I- I- I don't know. If a man like me can survive all of that, well, the real challenge is on day 90. Because on day 90, the virus makes a critical mutation. It gives the zombies the ability to break down blocks. And not just dirt or wood, no. They can break down anything. If these men figure out that I'm in a building, that building is coming down and they're... They're coming for me. These men, they want me dead. And you know what? I say, oh no. You can't take down a man like me. I have 90 days to not only survive, but build a shelter that I can safely survive the last 10 days in. It will be an all-out zombie onslaught. I'm doing it on this map right here. Take a look around here. What do you notice? Yeah, it's all dead. Dead trees, dead wood, dead people. It's... It's not good. My man's on the Discord server went ahead and built, uh, built some buildings around for me to explore and scavenge. There's, there's stuff in there for me to get, but, uh, apparently there's some traps, so, yeah, that's good. If you want to play this for yourself, like usual, it's available for my, uh, Patreon supporters, so if you want to support me on Patreon, boom, you can play this yourself. If you want to support me here on YouTube, you can do so by just cl clicking that subscribe button, okay? You do something like that, and, uh, wow. It makes me a very happy guy. That's, that's exactly what I'll say. You can also leave a comment saying something like, Ooh, look at this guy go. Or, uh, something like that, I don't know. And if you want to leave a like on the video, yeah, I'm not going to stop you from doing something like that. Okay, you know what, that's enough. Alright, let's, uh, let's see how many days of this I can live through. Alright, day one. A man alone in the world. Last man alive, you know? Uh, so I spawned next to this building, and I wanted to know what was going on in there. So I walked over to it, and uh, look at this! There's a zombie in there. Sure enough, I was walking around, so I killed him. See, one zombie, very easy to kill. Very, very easy when it's just once, when you got a bunch of these guys that you gotta worry about. There was also a chest in there which gave me a couple things to get going in this, uh, lifeless world, you know? And then I went out back. Forge Lap's family graveyard. That's, uh... Oh, here comes another one. R.I.P. Sonya? Mod East? Is there... There's still... I gotta deal with something like that. Look at this. Mop slot. Covert. Govine. Mod East. Kitty rules. Pappy cats. Wisefish? They got my man Wisefish in here too? I was told that there's gonna be stuff hidden all over the map, and I just had to look for it if I wanted to find it. So I thought, hey, you know what? What are the chances there's something buried in one of these graves? But I started digging them all up, and uh, no, there was nothing. Nothing at all, so I just desecrated all these graves for absolutely no reason. Good. 
So I left that place and uh, started walking down the road. Got to a town. Oh! Oh, got a, got a few, got a few of them in there. Just gonna, gonna go away from that building right there. I don't have a sword. Oh my god. Okay, they're going back in. I don't have a, I don't have any weapons. Can't really. Oh my god, these guys are coming out. Okay. Uh. I really needed sticks. I wanted to make better tools. The ones I had right now, not good. So uh, I found a tree, and I got this mod on that makes it so the tree falls over when you knock it down. And look at this. I smoked a zombie with it. This man walked right into it. You believe that? Good kill. Hey, I just had an idea. See if you can count every zombie kill I get, and then uh, like leave a comment saying the number or something like that. Anyways, night was falling, and uh, wow, I got a blood moon. Yeah, on the first night. You know what a blood moon is? I'll, I'll tell you what it does. It does two things. First thing, stops me from sleeping. It's not a big deal, it's fine. But the second thing, uh, the second thing is a little rough. It spawns hundreds of zombies around me. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? They can't get in here, right? Look how many, look how many they're coming. Turn the, get the fires out, turn the lights out. Oh my god, they're trying to get in my doors. This is- this is legitimately the scariest thing I've ever- How- how in the hell is someone gonna survive something like this? Here, let me shoot one. No, it doesn't even kill it. And they're still coming. They're still coming from the woods. Look at the hill over there. What do you do- what do you do in a situation like this? There's one- one spawn on the roof. I got- I gotta figure out the spawning thing. Here, shield back. Get off. Like, this is nuts. This is nuts! Look at this! And th these things aren't going away in the daytime! I, they're spawning on top- I can't- I can't have to- I'm not gonna survive this! They're spawning- how- are they climb- can they climb the vines? They can climb the vines! Cut the vines down! They're climbing the vines! I'm, I, I don't even know what to say. There's no way I'm surviving a hundred days of this. Trapped in the shelter. Ugh. Wow, what a perfect time to tell you about the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by my man's Dragon City. You know what they say? They say a man with a dragon is a man who's doing well. Which is why I'm going to tell you right now, you got to check out this game, okay? Dragon City. Got a link to it in the description. Yeah, big dragon fan? Well, you know what? This is... Yeah, look at... Look at that. This is the game for you. You get to collect hundreds of dragons, and then you take those dragons, you breed two of them, boom. You got a new one. You gotta care for this man, okay? You gotta feed him, you gotta train him, gotta get him ready for battle, because that's, uh, that's what you're doing. There's, uh, different PvP modes that you can fight in real time against all of your friends. You got other friends who like dragons? You bring them, see who's better. Hey, and you know what? You're you and your dragon, you're never gonna get bored, okay? Because there's there's events every single week for you guys to do. That's gonna... New adventures, all sorts of stuff. You'll have a, you'll have a good time. And here's the most important part, okay? Click the link in the description and you get a very special reward. You get 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and 10 gems, okay? 10. Just make sure you got the latest version of the game. Don't keep that thing updated, okay? Be sure to click the link in the description. It, it really helps me out. And thanks to the sponsor Dragon City for sponsoring this, okay? Day two. Hey, look at that. The uh, zombies are still there. They're not going anywhere either because they don't despawn in the morning. No, these men are waiting outside my house for me. And I was a very hungry man. A man who needed food fast. Well, how does a, how does a guy like me get out of a situation like this? I'll tell you right now. I did two things, okay? Two things. Number one, I climbed. Climbed right out of the shelter. And number two, I ran very fast, my mans. Very, very fast. I picked a direction and just went. Right now, this works. You can just run from these things because they're so slow. But uh, in the future, oh, that will not work at all because these things are going to get faster and faster and they will, they will run you down and take you down, you know? So I went back to the hardware store and uh, I looted another chest. And, uh, I found some seeds. Look at this. Look at all these seeds. Pretty good. I also got some bones, which is a great combo for a hungry man, you know? Uh, so I ran till I found some water and planted the seeds, and, uh, used the bone meal to get some bread. Hunger problem solved, at least for now. Uh, then with some string I got from cutting down spider webs, I made a fishing rod. Yeah, I just sat there and did some fishing. It was a nice relaxing time after a very stressful first night. Just a man fishing, you know? After a night like that, there's nothing much more you can do than just come to the water and, uh, fish a little bit. An octopus in here. Here, come on. 
I saw a zombie out in the field, which by itself is fine. When it's one, it's okay. At least you think, right? But the thing is, is that these things can multiply. One can become 50 just like that. It's over. I just took that man down. Then I snuck back to my house and took a good hard look around. Made sure there was no one stumbling about in front of my house. And there wasn't. It was clear, thankfully. And then I climbed back in and it was good. I collected a bunch of dead wood, which you can't use to build anything, but you can use it to make charcoal. So I started doing that and then uh, I went to bed. All right, day three. You know what they say about day three? Good day to go to the library. Oh my god, this is a... I forgot about that. There's a lot of them in here. I love the zombies outside, then uh, I started cutting them down. They, they almost boxed me in and killed me, but I outsmarted these guys. I got golden pants from one of them, which is yeah, pretty good. Uh, and then I headed into the library. There wasn't much in there except for a lot of books, which uh, would be useful eventually, but not right now. Not at all. Uh, so then I went to the jail. Look at this. There was, there was a lot of zombies in there, and, uh, I was not doing that right now. No. No way. There was also this brick house nearby, which had a bunch of zombies in the basement, so what I did was I let those guys out through the back door and thought, you know what, this is a problem for later, don't even worry about this. Then I went to a different house that had no zombies in it, which just had a bunch of mushrooms in a chest, so I could make some mushroom soup, hey, that's pretty good. And then I went back to that brick house, dealt with a zombie problem or something, got down to the basement and got a bunch of iron. The hardware store had a lot of chests, and instead of making them myself, I thought, why don't, why don't I just go there and take a bunch of them? So that was my plan for day four. My master plan at this time was to get some chests, and just start filling them with all the resources I would need to build a very strong, defensible compound, which would uh, keep me safe after day 90. Right now, it was easy to live in this world. The zombies weren't too much of a threat, but they, they were going to keep getting worse and worse. So I just wanted to try to get as much stuff as I could while it was easy enough to do that and get my base ready for uh, what was to come on day 90. While I was out exploring, I found a swamp and I was thinking, you know what? This, this could be a pretty good place to build. A man in the swamp. Who knows? Uh, anyways, I got my chest and before going home, I stopped by the jail and uh, just take a look, take a listen what was going on down there. Well, you think I'm going to go down there? Like, look at- look what's going on down there. Okay, I'm good down here. That place is a... I believe there's a death zone down there. The next day, I was back getting more resources, and, uh, I spotted something in the distance. Wow. Oh, there's stuff out there. Big red pillars. See that? Let's see what that is. When you see something like that, you gotta take a look, you know? Uh, so I did that. I got up to it, and there's like security cameras all over it. What's uh, what's going on here? Something like this is... A man's gotta have a look at something like this. I broke the fence and uh, saw a sign about someone named Kelly. If you can read this, you are too close to a dangerous gas disposal pipe. For your safety, you should leave immediately the perimeter. Grandma Kelly bled out after a terrifying encounter with... There's dangerous gas here? Think they're lying? I'm going to go. I was about to leave when I realized that the structure in the middle is pipe. So I climbed in and it was very dark. Very, very dark. And it sounded like there was a lot of zombies down there, so uh, I left. Not in the mood to die, you know? Maybe I'm not going down here. Maybe I'm coming down here later. <laughs> Maybe I'm going down the dangerous pipe when I have armor. Ah! Thorns. I spent most of the day getting iron bars from here. I was going to need a lot of these. And on my way back, I spotted what looked like a security guard tower, uh, but I thought I'd check it out later. When I got home, I used my iron to make a helmet and a very nice sword. The next morning, I was attacked by a horde. Oh, got a... Got a herd coming my way. Got a herd coming my way. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's try to deal with these guys. Now that I had more gear, I felt better about going to the jail. Uh, I went in, and just look at this. There were, why is there so many people in this jail? How many people do they have in this jail? This is way too many people for that this size of a jail. Okay, they're coming up. There's, there's gotta be a thousand people down here. I killed a bunch of them, but these men kept coming, and uh, there was no way I was taking them all down, so I left. I explored a bit more and found a destroyed house or something. And I had to run home because it was very dark, my man. Very, very dark. More exploring the next day. I was looking for a cave. It'd be very useful. But I saw this structure in the distance, and uh, I had no idea what it was, but I thought I'd check it out later. Whoa! What is that? Look at that big place. I eventually found a cave, which, it had a pig in it. You ever see a pig in a cave? Kinda, kinda weird. 
What's this man doing down here? Anyways, I snuck around and found a bunch of iron, and uh, when I came out, there was a grizzly bear. Ran away from that man, and uh, went straight home. Next morning, there was a storm. I love a good storm, you know? It's very cozy, very cozy. Especially when the last man alive, just storming some zombies. I went out, and it was very quickly overrun. Look at this. Oh my god, there's so- Look at this! They start coming out of you- They start spawning so quickly. Oh my god, look down there! These things, they can multiply very quickly. While fighting them, I, like, bounced one into a pond. That gave me a very good idea. Very, very good idea. So I ran back home, but, wow, the, uh, horde followed me home. We just have all these guys here. It's not even a- it's not even a zombie night. And they're still coming. Look at this. It's daytime right now. This is just- this is just regular zombie spawns. I'm scared they can- this is act this is- This is not good. I'm scared they can get in. My idea was to craft an iron hammer, okay? These things are expensive, but wow, it will- they will knock zombies back far, my mans, I'm telling you. Look at- it just sends them flying. I also made iron armor since when I was out last, I almost died. I had another problem, though. Since my house was constantly being surrounded by zombies trying to get in, uh, I could not sleep. I can't sleep with it. Like, I can't sleep because there's monsters nearby, but you also- you'd never be able to sleep with all the sound, too. Listen to how loud that is. Look at this! You guys are outside, they're going nuts. I was still stuck in my house by the next day. How does a man get out of a situation like this? I'll tell you how. A man digs out. But as I dug, I could hear them above me, following me. And that, that gave me another idea. This is good. I can do something with this. If I'm smart in this situation, a man can survive something like this. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to build a safety buffer. So as long as that block's there, they can't do anything, right? If I break this, they can't do anything. I break that, they can't do anything. I do this, this, and that. There's nothing they can do, right? I want to do this. Oh, here we go. No, 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 you guys need to go. There we go. All right. Come on down, one at a time. Come on down. This is how you do it. This is how I'm going to deal with them. The only thing was is that I, I know me, and I will end up walking right into that hole. I will forget it's there and go straight in. So I put a trap door down. Then that night, when uh, all the zombies showed up, I tested it out. It worked. Kind of. Some zombies were not landing in the hole. They were landing in front of it. So I put up a little fence, and that seemed to work pretty good. I went out to gather more wood on day 10, and while I was out, I saw another area that looked pretty nice. I also found a large cavern, and I did not want to be a man who, who falls in there. Don't want to fall down there. You fall down there, game over immediately. I'm gonna walk backwards. While I was down there, I was finding a ton of iron. Look at all this iron! I'm gonna be a rich man! Find an iron everywhere. I spent the entire next day down there too, and I almost fell in. <gasps> ho! Ho ho ho! That was, uh... Wow. Almost walked in. That night, I had to use the zombie hole technique again, and it worked like a charm. Yeah, this is good. Old zombie hole never fails. I mined all day on day 12, uh, stacking lots and lots of cobble, which is need this stuff. And I also got a lot of iron. I was even made an iron shield, and uh, things were going well. And it got even better, even better on uh, the next day, because look at this, I found diamonds. Ah, wow, man with diamonds. When I got home, uh, I made a diamond pickaxe, and uh, then there was a lot of zombies outside, so I had to use the old zombie hole again. It was working, but it wasn't perfect, so I started thinking of ways that I could improve it. Uh, but you'll, you'll see more of that later, okay? I wanted to take a break from mining, so the next day I went exploring, and uh, I found a door that was near that chemical tube before, so uh, I went in. Hey, there's some zombies. Let's, uh, let's get them out of here. Alright, come on out. We're gonna fight ya. Oh! Original specimen! These are all original specimens! Oh my god, there's a lot of them! The body parts are filling the... Like a bunker or something. Bunch of zombies in there. I killed them all. I saw there was like iron on the wall, iron blocks, but I felt like those were decorations and not meant to be taken by me, so uh, as much as I wanted to take them, I, I left them. But I did get a bunch of building materials and uh, I headed home. Now that I finally had even better gear, I, I went back to the jail again. I need to break the spawner. It's the only way this works. But this time? This time, though, I had a plan, okay? A foolproof plan. I was going to tunnel to the spawners and destroy them. You know? Nice and easy. Uh, I was able to kill one, but the other could not tunnel to that one. That one was far, and I was not feeling brave enough to jump down and make the run, you know? 
So I left the jail and the town, and I went further down the road. And then, I saw a sign. Are you kidding me? Mata Tutu Town. I'm, I'm gonna go see what Mata Tutu Town is, obviously. This is it! There's, uh... Crabs in front of it. Okay. A lot of crabs. Are they crabs or are they spiders? Are they crabs or are they spiders? Hey, not bad! A little zombie right here. Okay, there's a few more zombies now. Alright. Oh! Someone there! Okay. Okay, uh, let's go. Oh, a few more. Okay. Okay, time to go, time to go, time to go home. Mata Tutu Town's not, uh, not so good. When I got home that night, I found a zombie on my wall. What's this guy doing? How's that guy, how do you... Look at that, they're on my wall! Why is there so many on my walls? Oh my god! Oh, there's stuff here. The next day I was feeling good. Felt like I could make that run in the jail, so I went there and I did it. Killed the spawner and took a look around, see what was going on. There's like a jail cell with like a thousand zombies in there. What's going on? Why is there so many men in there? Uh, anyways, so I looted the place. I got some like iron, I got some meat. Got a bunch of good stuff down there. It was good to do this. I also stopped by the bridge and uh, got some sand from underneath it. There's like no sand in this biome at all. No sand and I was gonna need this stuff, so this was a, this was a good find. The next day I went to that military camp. That place I saw, that little guard tower a while ago. Uh, it was not good there. Like a man hanging or something. Oh my god. What happened here? I realized I could uh, break these barriers and take them, and uh, I spent a bunch of time doing that, which was big waste because I literally never touched these again. These just went straight to a chest and were never used. I also found a key card, which I assumed was going to be uh, what would let me get into one of the locked buildings, but I did not want to do that now. It seemed like there's probably going to be something scary in there that I need to fight, so I decided to come back later and fight when I had more stuff. You know, I'm not dying right now. I left that place, went out, gathered more resources, and headed home. By this point, I had I had plenty of stuff. Was feeling pretty good. Thought I was going to be ready to build soon. Um, but I, yeah, I couldn't stop thinking about that military compound. So I, yeah, I made a mistake. I decided to go back. What the hell is that? Danger spikes below. I almost walked into that. What is that? I wanted to know what that that pit did. So uh, I knocked a zombie into it. Oh my god, it's quicksand. It's quicksand. That's what I need, that's exactly what I need. Next day I went back with four buckets and I filled them with that stuff. Quicksand bucket, it is quicksand. Okay. Look at that, wow. A man with quicksand, you can do a lot with quicksand, you know? Uh, so I also used a key card and went into that building and uh, there was a zombie in there. Killed the man and uh, read his journal. I really like the look of the watchtower outside, and I thought that's that's something I want to build in my compound, so I took like a mental note of how it looked. I left the military checkpoint and uh, went back to that swamp. Took a look around and thought, you know what? Not that many trees here. The ground is pretty flat, and I can see far around me. You know what? I'm a man who's going to build right here. So the next day, I was back, and I started building. The first thing I wanted to do was get up a nice, strong, tall wall, you know? Get, a, get that thing up right away, so no one's getting into my, my area. I decided I was gonna build it out of metal bars, which looks very cool, but wow, it is very expensive. That iron could have went to a, many other uses that would have been much better than this. But you know what? It looks cool, okay? So that's all that matters. But iron... Iron was the least of my problems. Because things were about to get much more difficult. The virus was mutating for the first time. Okay, hey, zombies, they're, they're faster now, they deal more damage, and uh, they're just, they're more deadly. Things are getting, from this point forward, it's just gonna keep getting tougher and tougher every 10 days. I wanted to see just how strong these things were, you know? So in the morning, I tested it out, and just look at this. Imagine being out in a blood moon with these things. It's just gonna keep, and it's also gonna get worse and worse. I went back to that bunker where I left those iron blocks thinking that I was going to leave them for decorations and uh, I had a very different opinion now. I was thinking, you know what, I'm taking those things, I need them. Got a big wall to build, need as much iron as I can uh, get, so I made some iron bars and got working on that wall. When I got home that night, there was a zombie in my house. I can hear them out there. Oh my god, one got in! How did you get in? How did that guy get in my house? 
I was also kind of getting tired of having to use the zombie hole and the, trying to sleep and all this, so I just moved my bed downstairs underground and uh, that seemed to work. In the morning I said, screw it, opened the door, went out and fought some zombies. Oh my god, here they all come. Okay. Oh my god. Right now I can still fight them. Okay. I can still fight them, but that, that will become a problem. Right now these things are manageable. I can deal with them. But I'm telling you, in the future, it gets... It gets so much worse. Even just one of these things can take a man down very easily. Anyways, I was back to working on the, the wall. Zombies can't swim, right? Like, they're not going to be able to, like, go underwater and swim or anything. They're not going to be like, ooh, and come up on I should fix it. Ooh, I can see that happening. And they all get in. And I'm like, oh, how'd they get in? I don't know. You didn't patch it correctly. Just fill this. But then I, but then I get this weird, like, water gap here. I don't like the look of that. I'll just put dirt underneath. I was starting to get worried about my food situation. I was I was running out, and there weren't exactly too many food sources in this world. Why did I write that? I'm so dramatic when I write my notes. I wrote, quote, running out of food. May not make it. What do you mean, may not make it? It was fine. Pretty sure I found like a pig or something the next day. The bigger problem was iron. I was, I was running out of it, and uh, by day 22, I was very low. I was dipping into the reserves. So I set out to find more, and uh, I thought there might be some in Mata Tutu Town. But when I got there, I found something very different. What's this say? In remembrance of our fallen friend Mata Tutu. It's a shrine for Mata Tutu. What do we got here? Ra it's his meat. I'm not taking that meat. I'm hungry, but I'm not taking it. Are you kidding me? I didn't find any iron, but I did find a house that had some hay or something. I don't know what this is supposed to be called. Anyways, so I've, this stuff right here, you can make bread out of this. I'm sure a lot of you already know that, but I, I didn't know about this till like, just a few months ago I found that you can turn this into bread. I thought you used it for like, farm animals. I don't know. Very happy to find this. Day 23, I wrote in my notes, almost died, and uh, this timestamp. What, 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 what did I... What have I done? What have I done? Where's the water? That was so stupid. I don't even need to be going this way. Why did I do that? Why do, why do, why do I do stuff like that? I'm not going to survive 100 days if I keep doing stuff like that. I'm going to die to something like that. I have to stop and not do that stuff again. Hey, what happened there? I don't know. I'm writing this script right now without looking at the footage, so, uh, whatever that was, just played on the screen. Hey, I hope you like that. I have no idea what that was. Anyways, I was working on the wall some more, and, uh, I nearly finished it. Technically, I did, because all that was left was two gates. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm actually done. I think that's actually enough. The following day, I was back, and I finally finished the walls and the gates. I also wanted to have a completely flat land, so I filled all that in, and then went home. I was chased by a bunch of zombies. See, right now this is fine, but... Coming home eventually is gonna be so risky. When all these guys can outrun me. Same thing the next day, I just worked on filling holes, you know? And then I got chased home again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Not, not doing that. See that? That's something you don't want to see. Now that I had the compound perimeter secure, I could start planning where I wanted things to go. The first thing I wanted to build was a farm. So that I had food throughout the building process and I wouldn't have to leave to look for- I just wanted a farm in place. It's very important to get that up, so uh, I started building that. I grabbed all those seeds I found back at the hardware store and uh, I planted them. I never know if I'm setting up a farm right, so tell me if I set this up right or wrong. I don't, I don't know, but it worked, so it's, I guess it's fine. Now I wanted to build the guard tower, so uh, I made some spruce fences and grabbed some pine cones and went back to the compound. When I got there, a man had gotten inside. I don't have to go up there again eventually. How much health have been losing? Oh, first man to make it in. You should get a prize. Really, you should get a prize, but I have no way of keeping you. I don't have a name tag. Look at this guy. I got no eye. Oh! How'd you lose your eye? I feel like I should keep you. But I can't. Oh! Okay, now you're gonna... There you go. 
I planted some trees inside my base, and then uh, some outside. I thought that maybe if I had a bunch of trees outside, it might like block sight lines. Zombies might not be able to see light, and this is uh, just a win-win. I also expanded my farm a little bit and uh, built the frame of the guard tower. This, it's coming along nicely, all right. This whole place is looking pretty good. On my way back that night, I wanted to know what would happen if I went into quicksand, so uh, I tried that out. I was like going here. I'm not going in there. You can't get out. If you go in it, you can't get out. That's what happens. You just can't get out. Next day, I just, uh, worked on the guard tower more. I got to the top part, and I, I used slabs to do it. Yeah, what do you think about slabs? You like these things? You're gonna see a lot of them in this video. I, I just started using them recently, and wow. I really like slabs. You can do a lot of cool stuff with these things. Anyways, I wasn't totally happy with how the tower looked. I, I wanted more contrast between the wood colors. When I came back the next day, the, the trees I had planted had it spawned a snail. Look, look at these guys. Lighten that up a little bit. Hey, this, look at this! The snails! They love it! They love it there. I also replaced the side of the tower with some oak walls, which I, I thought this looked pretty good. It doesn't connect unless I do that, but that looks... Yeah, see, I can like... There's no fear of going over. I can't accidentally jump over that, too. After that, I uh, built the roof of the guard tower, and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. A man up here, he he can see a lot. Take a look around the whole compound, you know? Take everything in, make sure everything's going well, no zombies breaking in. This was, uh, this was good. I also added a ladder so that I could uh, get up and down easily, and uh, when I did, the zombies came. Oh, look at this. Got a lot of them coming now. Oh, almost dropped through there. The only thing that I wanted to change about the tower was that I wanted the supports to be a little thicker. Alright, the virus mutated again. Just, uh, wow. Try not to die. Anyways, I went back to the compound and, uh, replaced the supports with spruce bark walls. A little bit thicker, they're darker, and I just think it looks nice. When a bunch of zombies showed up, they could not get in. It was, uh, it was good. Then I noticed something. Uh, Blood Moon. Blood Moon is rising. Go, 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 go. This is really bad. Oh my god, this is what I was afraid of. I was afraid of getting caught out here with the Blood Moon. Oh no, 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 okay. Okay, I'm a man who's in danger. I'm a man who's in danger, but that's fine. That is fine. They're gonna spawn any second. They're gonna spawn any second. Oh, there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's six. There's seven. There's eight. There's nine. There's ten. There's eleven. There's twelve. There's ten. There's, there's, there's too many of them. There's too many. Ugh, get back. Oh, there's one in my house. Why are you in here? Close the door. Made it back to the house. Climbed on the roof and just took a... Took a big long look at all those, all those zombies outside. Imagine all these men trying to get in your house. Hey, just think about that for a second. I was when uh, one of these guys spawned on my roof and nearly knocked me down into that horde where I would've just been torn to shreds. Anyways, uh, got me thinking. This virus is just gonna keep mutating. It's gonna get stronger and stronger and eventually these things, they're gonna knock down my walls and get in. W what can I do if that happens? I mean, a man's got to get out of there, and yeah, he's got to get out of there quick. This, this was the single best decision I had made in this entire thing. If I didn't come up with evacuation plans, you would not be watching this video right now, okay? And you will, you will see that later on. So I went downstairs and I started making some rails. In the morning, I still couldn't get out of my house. The zombie hole wasn't working as well as I wanted it to, but I kind of knew how to fix it. However, I wasn't going to do it here because there was no point in doing it in this house since I was leaving soon, so I just put it in the pile of ideas for the compound defenses. So I just lured the zombies away. Oh my god, look at all of them! They're coming for me! These men are coming! Oh my god, and I forgot they're faster! They're still coming. I gotta lure them away. Look at this, the horde's coming. I went back to the compound and uh, I planted a bunch of pumpkin seeds around the swamps that were outside. Uh, I'm gonna need these things to make iron, iron golems, you know? Those things are, those things are good. I also lured two chickens into my compound. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Two chickens. Man with two chickens. Come on. Gotta get you home. Come on in, come on in, you'll love it in here. And then, uh, give you a little treat. There you go. The next day I got some sheep, and boom! Just like that! I was a man with a guard tower, a very secure wall, a wheat farm, and uh, now I had livestock. You know what I didn't have? Uh, a house. I hadn't even started building my house yet. 
I knew that I wanted it to be in the middle of the compound, though, so that zombies, if they stacked up around the fence, my bed was far enough away that they wouldn't stop me from sleeping. But there was still some more stuff to do before I did that. I needed to build a zombie hole 2.0. I needed it. So I planned where that was going to go. Day 33 it was, a, it was a good day. I got back to the compound and I started digging out a tunnel that I was going to use to lure zombies to zombie hole 2.0. And I'm telling you, if you were a fan of zombie hole 1, you're going to love this one, okay? Hey, you know what? If you were a fan of uh, zombie hole, why didn't you leave a comment saying like, I love zombie hole 2.0? Something like that. Okay, that's a good comment right there. I wanted to make sure that these men could see me, you know? Uh, so, remember that sand I got? Boom. Finally got a use for it. So I made some glass, and I made a glass ceiling so that, that when I walked through the tunnel, all, all the guys could take a look down and see me walking through there, and they could follow me right into the zombie hole. A glass ceiling. I stayed out a little too late working on uh, this tunnel and a bunch of zombie spawns, so I had to avoid them while I ran home. The next day I worked on the tunnel more, and yet again, I stayed out a little too late, and on my way home, I almost died. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, the, the, I thought the river was going to be hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was close. They almost got me there. I made it home though, but I had officially ran out of food, which was the whole reason I made a farm and stuff, and uh, but it wasn't ready yet. So tomorrow, I had to figure that out. I found some sheep and killed and cooked them, which uh, dealt with my hunger, at least for now. I got to the compound and finally made a cage around the zombie hole, uh, so I didn't need to worry about any of those guys clinging to the sides and getting in. It also it looked good, you know? I set up a water system above the tunnel. I, I've seen people do weird stuff with water, where they get, like, things to float down it or whatever. Uh, so my idea was to use that to help push these men into the hole, uh, but I think I did it wrong. I also wasn't sure if the tunnel was too far below the surface, so the zombies to even see me, uh, even with the glass. So I added slabs, look, yeah, using slabs again, which made me closer to the surface, and it seemed to work. You know, the zombies could see me. Anyways, I spent the whole night working on it. The next day, almost died again. Yeah, but this time, it was this was my fault. <sighs> look at that. That would have been it. That would have been it. I also got some more slabs for the zombie tunnel. It, it, it was a good day. I replaced the glass chute with railings, which uh, stopped zombies from getting stuck, and I could see down into the hole a little bit better, uh, so that was good. But then while I was working on building my house, eh, another blood moon. A b another blood moon? Are you kidding me? Another one? They're gonna spawn inside this thing and I'll die. But maybe I won't make it home. I'm not gonna make it home. But this time, I chose to stay in the compound because it was, it was stupid to run home. I don't know why I was doing that before. Not only was it dangerous because I had to leave the safety of the compound walls, but I also had to... I, I couldn't sleep anyway, so what was the point of going home? Just unnecessary risk. So I climbed up the tower and uh, took a look at the horde. Just look at that. It was also a good opportunity to test out Zombie Hole 2.0, and you know what? It, it worked great. Hell yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's working. Yeah, I got ahead of myself. It works okay. I, I still had to lead a portion of them away in the morning, which I, I will not be able to do this soon when the zombies are faster. Once that was done, I went back to the zombie pit and made some adjustments. I made it wider so the zombies could fall in easier. I also changed the water system above it and used signs, so I don't know. I think this worked better. This, this, is, this is Zombie Hole 3.0 now. If you love Zombie Hole 2.0, you're gonna love Zombie Hole 3.0, I'm telling you. Hey, you know what? Why don't you leave a comment saying you love Zombie Hole 3.0 if you're for you Zombie Hole fans out there. Okay. Yeah, I can't hear the zombies sneaking up on me anymore. I used to hear them growl or something when they were targeting me. It, that's gone. Can't hear them anymore. You know in movies when, uh, someone just is, like, standing there talking to someone and all of a sudden, boom! Boom! Zombie tags a man, and you're like, hey, where'd that zombie come from? Uh, that's what's gonna... That is now active here. Only an idiot can, uh, get bit by a zombie that way. Anyway, so, uh, where was I? So, I went back to Mata Tutu Town because I needed lava. You know what? I, I'm, I'm calling it lava from now on. I, you see hundreds of comments saying you're saying lava wrong. I don't care. I, I'm saying lava. That's how it is now, okay? So I went to Mata Tutu Town looking for the stuff, and, uh, could not find it. No, could not. But I finally went into this big church. Yeah, that big spooky one up there. I thought, you know what? Let's see what's going on in there. So, uh, I went in. Oh! First things first, I like, I saw some stuff I like, but I'm gonna get rid of those. Oh my god, look at all this gold. 
Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. Okay, I gotta- I gotta stash some stuff. I got too much stuff. Look at all this gold! I found it upstairs and wow, I was a rich man! Next I went down to the basement and uh, a lot of zombies down there, but you know what? I'm no idiot. I decided to climb and uh, like kind of tunnel my way over to the spawner and destroy it. Not, definitely not jumping down there and trying to fight those things. You don't want to be pinned in a basement with a bunch of zombies around you. B big mistake. So uh, I got that done and look at this! An enchanting table here and an enchanted blade up in the picture frame. So I got that and that was a... Uh, that's pretty good, but I had a feeling, you know what, it, was, it might be nighttime, so I wanted to leave, and, uh... Yeah, well, remember I just said that you don't want to be a guy pinned in the basement with zombies? Oh! Oh, oh, okay. Okay, they're coming down. There's a lot of them coming down. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. I ran into this room, and eventually I tunneled out and killed a bunch of them. When I climbed out of the basement, the church was, it was totally surrounded by infected. And look, you can see just how fast these guys were. Look at that. It, it's it, that is a fast man right there. Eventually I made a break for it and I ran home. Oh my god! Oh my god. I thought one zombie almost killed me. Ooh, okay, yeah, why? Well, that thing tagged me. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's exactly what happens in the movies. You don't hear the zombie and boom, it's too late, you know? Day 41. I was still a man who did not have lava, so, uh, I went to mine. But I was nervous since zombie hordes could now spawn down there. Not just one or two zombies, you get a whole horde down there. Imagine that. Didn't take me long, but I found some lava. I uh, got a bucket, filled it up, brought it up to the surface, and then to the compound. Then I took that lava and poured it in the zombie hole, and boom, now this thing is deadly now. And then, you know what happened? Uh, another blood moon. But hey, you know what? It wasn't a big deal, because uh, now I had a chance to test this thing, and ooh, ooh, it. Zombie hole three? It was, it was good. There we go. And then, they fall down and they burn. Yes, that's, okay, good. There it is. That's, see, this is what I was thinking of. Look at that. This is how you deal with the zombies. Hey, anyone still counting how many zombies I killed on screen? Yeah, good luck. There's like a million right here. I wanted to leave the zombie tunnel and, uh, look at that. Little arm, little arm poking out through the wall. What's, uh, what's that all about? That should be a good, good, look. See that? This man's waiting for me, waiting for me right around the corner. I come here. Boom, he's there. See that? Oh, oh, oh! A few more of them. How many got into my house? Look, there's... It's like the whole horde got in. After I dealt with that, I realized I needed to, to get the best results with the zombie hole. I just needed to stand right by the pit. Right here. This was enough. A couple zombies would see me stand in here. They'd go for me. They'd get stuck in the water, start moaning, yelling. And then that would attract more zombies. And before you know it, everyone was going in the hole. It was, uh, it was good. In the morning, I cleared out the rest of the compound and uh, dumped the rest of the horde into the zombie hole, and then uh, I finally started building my house. I worked on the house throughout day 43, and then again on day 44. I was a working man, working hard on the deck. When I saw, yeah, look at that, another blood moon rising. Starting to feel like that, uh, what was it, like 22% chance right now? I was feeling more like uh, 96% or something like that. It seemed like I was getting a lot of blood moons. Very unlucky man. On top of that, all these guys were still spawning in my compound. What's going on here? This is a lot of zombies spawning. Uh, so I put more torches down to try to stop it, uh, then I headed down into the zombie tunnel and, uh, felt like my man Obi-Wan, you know, sitting up here on the high ground watching those, uh, guys burn down there. You ever see that movie? After doing that for a little bit, I wanted to go see how the compound was doing and if my torches, uh, worked, and, uh, no. No, they did not. So many are spawning in my compound. Like, look at this. Th you sh you should never have this many in here. Next day, I kept working on the house. The man working, working hard, you know? And then, look at this! Wow! Another blood moon! What's, uh... Hey, what's going on here? Another... That's two blood moons in a row. That's two in a row. What are the chances? I put even more torches up, which helped prevent those guys from spawning in my compound. But now I, I really wanted an iron golem. Having one of those guys walking around would help deal with the problem, and, uh, in case some other somehow spawned inside. Uh, so I worked on the house throughout the night, and, uh, got started on the roof. No man should be... Sh building his house in these conditions. In the morning, I, I brought the remaining zombies into the hole, went out, got wood, came home, and uh, worked on the house. 
Night started falling and I was very, very happy to see that it was not a blood moon that night. So for the first time, uh, I slept in the compound. It was, it was nice. The next day, I added trap doors to the windows, which, yeah, I, this doesn't really do anything, but you know what? It looks cool. It kind of makes it look like it's boarded up and yeah, more secure. I also did some other stuff, but uh, I forget what that was. Day 48. I made a ton of torches using the dead wood I gathered, and I spammed them all over the compound. Absolutely no more zombies should be spawning here, alright? I also decided that I wanted a second floor in the house, which ended up being a, a very good choice, as you will see later. It also gives the house more depth, and uh, hey look! Uh, what's that, what's that in the corner there? Another blood moon! No, 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 another blood moon, not another blood moon. Since I had spammed so many torches, the only place zombies were spawning was on my unlit roof, and uh, I can fix that pretty easy. Despite having my compound totally surrounded, I was happy with how it was looking and uh, how things were going. I was out of wood, so the next day I went to get more, but uh, I ended up climbing into this cave to get iron instead. Oh, this is nice, walking over a dark- look at that, just the eyes in the cavern. One guy. I cannot get to me, not yet at least. Little expeditions like this are getting more and more risky. I'm far from home, and uh, if there's a blood moon, I will become a dead, dead man. Nothing more, nothing less. I need to be smart about what I'm doing here and uh, where I'm going. I can't be getting distracted by stuff. Look at that, the thing's attacking the... the octopus. Look at that. It's going after the octopus! Oh! Yeah, not, not dealing with that. Leaving. Came back home with enough uh, iron to make an iron golem, and I uh, harvested one of my pumpkins. Look, look, what's going on here, by the way? Why is there a face on this pumpkin? Is that, is that supposed to be there? So I used that, and uh, I made an iron golem. My man, how is it going? Doing good? Gotta give you a name. I wanna name you, uh... Balbar. Balbar, have I used that one before? Sounds familiar. Balbar, I like him. Hey, don't even- don't bother with that name. I never called him that again, I started calling him Igor almost immediately. And you know what? Me and my man Igor, we were ready for the next mutation. Yay, uh, not only are these guys uh, do, do more damage, but they also will now follow me for much longer. They will follow me right home. Hey, I, I love that, that's good. First thing I wanted to know was how my man Igor would uh, handle one of these guys. Okay, Igor, or whatever your name was, take him down. Take him down! You just, you just moved out of the way, you didn't do anything. Okay, there we go. Now get this other guy. Take him out. Boom, look at that, that's how you do it. Alright. I spent the day working on the roof, and you know what, I was happy there wasn't a blood moon when I went to bed that night. And the next day, it was more of the same, I just worked on the roof, second floor, and uh, I added a nice balcony. Look at this. Looking real good, my mans. Real good. I planted a bunch of spruce trees outside my compound. The same reason as before, thinking, hey, more cover, less light coming out, less zombies. That's a, that's a good thing. Yeah, next day, day 52. You know what they say about day 52? Put, uh, put half a balcony roof up. That's, that's what I did. Tried to make it look nice, and I, you know, I think it looked pretty good. I also crafted some stone slabs, which I needed more of. Uh, by the end of the day, though, I was just happy with how everything was looking. Okay, that's looking good. That is looking real good. The trees seemed like they were working the next day when the zombies that were outside looked like they were confused. Confused guys, I don't know. I needed even more iron though. I needed way more. Uh, so I went down into the cave and I uh, got some and wow, almost walked to my death again. Okay. <gasps> I forgot what my shift key was there. Almost walked off. Found a good amount of iron down there. You know what they say, uh, a man who has a lot of iron is a man who's gonna live to past day 90. That's, uh, that's what I was hoping for. It was good I didn't stay out too long, because it was another Blood Moon night. My favorite. I closed all the shutters on my house. This does absolutely nothing at all, but it, it feels cool. And, uh, my compound was holding. The zombies weren't getting inside, and they didn't seem to notice me on my roof. Like, except for, uh, this guy. Except for that guy! What the hell is that guy doing there? I need a bow. I need a bow. I tried to get my man Igor to fight him, but, uh, no, Igor was not interested. Alright, Igor. Come on, Igor. Does it need to hit me for you to attack it, Igor? Igor, my man! Let's go! Zombie right there! I'm gonna walk right past you. Does this guy need to hit me, Igor? Here, I'm gonna stand next to you, Igor. Tell me what happens if he hits me, okay, ready? Oh! Nothing! My man Igor does not care about this man! Igor, please! There's a man in here. 
So with everything built now, my house and the basic foundation of the compound, it was time to start thinking about defenses and making more traps because as it is right now, uh, zombies would just tear through this place on day 90. So that's what I had to shift my focus to. I had an idea about a note block. You know those things? They make sound. And there's one thing these zombies love. Uh, sound. They love it. They can't get enough of it. They just like walking right to the sound. Doesn't matter where, where it is, what it is, they just walk right to it and they're nutty. So I wanted to use this to my advantage and I thought, what if I can get a note block and just play sounds over and over and over again on repeat. And what if I place that block away from my house? And maybe it would lure zombies away from the walls. Oh, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to do. But here's the thing, I'm a man who knows absolutely nothing about redstone whatsoever. Redstone repeater. Uh, the name sounded like it would make something repeat, but when I crafted it, it uh, did not do that. So I had to look up a YouTube tutorial from uh, 2012, where someone told me all about them and uh, I kind of figured it out later. But that night, I shifted focus to something else that I wanted to build. Another layer of defense, and that was a bunker. Let me tell you about bunkers, okay? Uh, uh, a man without a bunker is an idiot, and I do not want to be an idiot, so I started making one. I worked on it throughout the day, and then uh, that night, wow, look at this, another blood moon. However, at this point, I was feeling pretty confident with my compound, and so I thought, you know what, I'll just keep working on stuff, doesn't matter, there's no way zombies are getting in. I dug the bunker deep, I'm telling you, I kept digging, digging, digging until uh, I couldn't hear any zombies on the surface and none in any caverns that were nearby. This, okay, I gotta tell you right now, this is very important. Because come day 90 when the virus mutates enough, zombies that can hear me, they will just dig straight through stone and get me. So, if I was making a secure bunker, it, it is not secure if it's near a cavern. So I had to be smart about this. I worked on the bunker throughout the next day, and uh, I got wood, made some furnaces, and started making some charcoal. Then I shifted my focus back to making the uh, distraction device. Thanks to that uh, tutorial from 2012, I knew exactly how to make this thing. So here's the theory, I put this down, and right here I do this, I do that, I do that, I do that, and I go boom, 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 and if this... I study this correctly, I do this, I place this, I break it, now I have this flashing, and I go boom boom. There it is. The next day, I made a second golem. Meet my man Igor 2! Technically Igor 3, but don't worry about that. Love this brave iron, iron man, love him. Uh, so I set up the distraction device outside my house, and the thing, look at the, it works! Or at least it, I, I think it will. Zombies will hear the note block, walk over to it, and then uh, hopefully fall in a pit and die. But there was one thing about this. It was very, very annoying. It was a constant beep. This thing is annoying. I, uh, I did not want to be listening to that for 44 days. If I had to listen to that, I, I would become a zombie, I'm telling you. So what I wanted to do was make it so that during a blood moon, I would just run outside and turn it on, and then quickly run back inside, and uh, when the blood moon was over, turn it off. So I started building that, but the problem was, was I ran out of redstone. My plan was to go back to the old house tomorrow and uh, get some. But when I got there, uh, there was no redstone. I do not know why I thought I had some here, but I did, and I went all the way back. Good news was, though, that uh, I remembered where there was redstone. At a chemical pipe place. So uh, I went there and got some. When I got back, I decided I wanted to hide the redstone under the grass so you wouldn't see it. And uh, I did that. Started working on it until nightfall, and uh, then I went inside. I was back the next day working on it, and I accidentally went prone. You ever go prone in Minecraft? Didn't even know you could do this. What what is going on with my view? What have I done to my view? Why am I why am I an ant? What is going on? Why am I so small? Why how am I laying down? I, you can't even lay down in Minecraft. What have I done? Why am I laying down? This is not part of the game. Up! Get up! You can't be laying down out here! Shift C, shift. Wait. Shift C goes prone. Shift 1. Okay. That was very weird. Got the device built, and uh, I wanted to test it. Now, theoretically, all I do is I come here, right here, press up, break it. And it doesn't work. That's the alarm. That's the alarm system. But those ones aren't going. Why aren't those ones going? It stops right here. Why is it stopping here? It goes down, but it doesn't go to here. I realized that I needed more repeaters to carry the signal, so I built them and boom, look at this. This thing was uh, the perfect alarm system. If I'm a zombie, I see this, I'm like, oh, what's this? Oh, 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 and then boom. 
I'm in the hole. I grabbed some lava and uh, I filled the pit. This thing, this thing should work well. There was still one big, huge problem that I did not consider. Why do I need to go outside in a blood moon to turn this thing on? Why can't I turn it on from inside? But it was nighttime and I figured out. I'll figure that out later. And when I went to bed, look at this. Something cool happened. Come in my house. Please, my man. Please, 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 please. Take, go one step further. One slide further. No! No, 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 no. This way. Oh, wait, I can push. Get inside. Wow. This is great news. You are going to love it in here. What do I name you? My man, the snail. How about that? Miss Snail. That's you. Miss Snail. Love this man. Okay, day 59. Uh, and you know what I did day 59? I did something I had never done before. Uh, I made a clock. You ever make a clock? I have no idea why I did not make one of these before, but uh, this thing, wow, it is very useful. Especially now, when nighttime, if I'm stuck out at nighttime, I'm pretty much dead. So, this told me when I should start heading home, so I don't get stuck outside. Very useful. But I did not explore that day, no, I went down into the bunker and just uh, tried to make it look a little bit nicer. I like replaced some, some of the walls with like stone, bars, cobblestone, just to give it a different look. And, uh, I thought it looked pretty good. But hey, it's that time! That time for the virus to mutate. Oh! Zombies are faster now, and they do more damage. That's... Yeah, love that. I was neglecting my farming duties, so uh, I did that. Hey, you know I'm farming. Relax. I was also neglecting enchanting my gear. It was day 60, zombies were now eh, pretty deadly, and I was at mostly iron gear. What's going on here? So I went to the library, very carefully, mind you. I was very worried about leaving the house. I got a bunch of books. Got a ton of books. I also decided to cut down all the trees in front of my house, because at this point, I was no longer hiding. Zombies could, like, two hit me. So, I needed to be able to see what was out there. Not walking out there blind and getting two hit by a zombie, so... Uh, the trees came down. I also started building this, like, secondary entrance. It's like a, another layer of... I don't know what to call these things. There's a name for them, I don't know. But it, now I could walk out of the door, take a look around, and then go out a second door and uh, be safe. Or, I guess. The next day, I built my library. Put it in the corner of my house right here. I thought it looked good here. A nice little square for it. Um, and I put my enchanting table down. The whole thing was pretty nice. Uh, but you know what? Didn't have any lapis. None at all. Uh, so I'd have to figure that out soon. I started working on wiring the distraction device so that I could trigger it from inside my base. Oh! Oh, look how much they- they hit you hard. Oh! 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 That's two hits of a zombie. That was two hits. You see that? Yeah, you see that? It is, wow, it is not safe out there. You can get tagged by one of these things and taken down. Man can die at any moment. I also ran out of redstone, so I needed more of that. So on day 62, I went mining to look for both redstone and lapis, the two things I needed very badly right now. But I made a bit of a mistake, I guess, because uh, I, I don't know why I did this. I decided to start my mine from within the bunker. So yeah, I was digging a direct hole from the safe, the safe bunker to like an open cavern. Yeah, real good idea, Sean. My man, so how's it going? Not looking too good for you on there, is it? Oh, that wasn't very smart. There you go. Went for a swim. Hey, but you know what? It wasn't so bad, because I found nine diamonds. Look at that. So I came up from mining because I had a stack of redstone and all these diamonds, and uh, I was starting to feel greedy. And you know when a man gets greedy is when a man dies. On my way out, I set up another trap, which this one, very simple, okay? Very simple, but yet very effective. Lava hole. Uh, any zombies chasing me would not be able to figure out how to get around it. Me, a guy with a brain, simply pressed the space bar and boom, over it. But a zombie, no, he doesn't know what to do. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. Hey, you're probably worried about me walking into here, right? Well, don't worry about it, okay? There's 0% chance I was gonna walk into this hole. Hey, look at that, another blood moon. Uh, so I figured it was a good time to yeah, just build some stuff. I used my diamonds to make a helmet and some boots. I was gonna make a halberd, diamond halberd, that thing is deadly, but, uh, you know what? Protection is probably more important at this point. Then I noticed the zombie had gotten into my chicken coop, so, uh, dealt with that. I also made a bow and some arrows and climbed up to the watchtower. It's all I've ever wanted. Look how many there is! Look at that! 
This is insane! How would a man ever deal with something like this? This is just a waste of time. Like, that's nuts. Look at all that. Here, what are you doing? I want to take this guy out. One man. I can kill one man. There we go. I need to get my distraction thing up and running. In the morning, I... I did something very stupid. Very, very stupid. I, uh, wow. Watching this again. I opened the door and let some zombies in that compound. Oh! They're in! Igor! Two of them are in here. Igor, my man, do something! Oh! Never mind, I changed my mind, I'm scared. Oh my god, look how many got in! That's a lot! That's a lot! That was so stupid, why did I do that? Close the door. Oh my god, they're fighting Igor out there! They killed Igor! They killed both Igors! They... They killed Igor 1 and Igor 2. And you know what? It was my fault. I killed these men. They gave their lives protecting me, and I wasted them by letting zombies inside. Not only were they dead, but now I had a whole bunch of zombies in my compound. Why did I do this? When Igor 1 or 2, I don't know which one died, uh, the man left me a present. One piece of iron. And uh, I wanted that. I wanted that badly. So I killed all the zombies from the roof. And I ran for it, and I almost died. The zombies from outside slashed at me through the fence. And to make things even worse, when I went back inside, I saw that my snails were gone. Where's my snail? My snail's gone, too. But I had no time to mourn the death of Igor 1 and 2 and uh, my snails. I was running out of time before day 90, and uh, I had to get outside and, and get that wiring fixed. Thankfully, the horde was at the back of the compound, and the distraction device was at the front, so I thought I could go out the front door, work on it, and they wouldn't they wouldn't know that I was out at the front. Uh, but no! They... they noticed me, alright? Oh no! How many got in? Just one? The horde found me. Oh my god. Oh my god, they found me. I ran out of the back door and my hope was that I could get far enough away that the horde would either forget about me, walk in a different direction, or just eventually despawn. A few chased me, but I killed them. But there was a big problem. It was getting dark quickly, and I did not know if it had been enough time for the horde to despawn. I did not want to run home and find the horde in between me and my compound. But I also didn't want to stay out too late, because uh, if a blood moon spawns, I am a dead man. But I went for it. I ran home, and wow, I am very glad I did, because it was, in fact, another Blood Moon night. Got home, went straight down to the bunker, and, uh... Oh! Pour the lava bucket, pour it, pour, pour the water! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What did I say? I am a dumb, dumb man. I am an... I'm a big idiot. I tried to mine and yeah, look what happened here. Oh! This is what I mean, I can't have this! There's another one coming! I can't, I, this, the, the bunker's supposed to be safe! And there's zombies spawning in here. You know what that means? I'm filling this all in. In the morning I realized I could improve my lava trap in the bunker and uh, make it more safe for me and uh, still deadly for zombies. I made a dispenser so I could make lava spawn when I needed it and then despawn when it wasn't needed. And I liked this. It gave me an idea for other traps around the compound on the outside. I went back up to the surface and finally got the distraction trap wired. And just in time for the uh, third consecutive blood moon. So I activated it. It works. Okay. Okay. Let's see what happens. I went up to the watchtower to see if it would work, and, uh, it did not. Did not, but zombies could see me, so they just focused on me. So I figured that if I went out of the tower and into, like, the second floor of my house, uh, which was further away, that might work better. It works! My invention works! But are they falling in the pit? They're going for the note block. But they're not going in the pit. A few of them are. I can't believe it works. 
And hey, look at that! It, it works works decently enough. It doesn't get them in the lava, but at least it pulls them away from the walls. So, uh, that's, you know, that's good. But I remembered that you could, uh, make pistons in Minecraft, and I might be able to use that to my advantage. So, I started tinkering with one in my house. And in the morning, I had an idea. Now here's what I'm gonna do. Watch this. Break that. Then I'm gonna... Do this. You know, I got this idea? A movie, Captain Phillips. Now imagine this, but not with water. Yeah. I'm gonna do this with lava. I got more lava, and I loaded up the dispensers outside of the bunker. I also put two more dispensers outside my back doors, and that night, I tried it. It works, it kills the zombies, but pressing the button also opens the door, and uh, I can see this ending very poorly for me later on. Uh, so I, I need to change how these work. The next day, I spread them out, and it, it works way better. I'm wondering if I put it here or something? Maybe I should space it out, maybe one should be here. Yeah, because too so close it doesn't matter that they're together. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. And then it doesn't open the door. So I set up another dispenser outside the front door, and near the farm animals, since zombies seem to- they like the sound of the farm animals, can't help but they walk right over to it. Imagine if I had that, uh, ostrich here from the 100 days on the island. That thing would- it's the noisiest creature in the world. Every zombie on the, on the map would be here if I had that ostrich. I changed the water in the distraction trap because it just doesn't work that well. I figured if they're gonna fall in the water, why not just make them fall in lava? Way easier. But the thing is, is that these guys just don't walk into lava. They know it's dangerous, so they avoid it. So I thought, you know what, what if I... Maybe I can do something about that. Are you... What is... Why is there so many zombies in my... What are they all doing in there? I'm a man who needs torches. I need glowstone. I need light. But before I do that, uh, I made two more dispensers. However, now I was officially out of string, and without spiders spawning in the world, uh, I needed to go out and find more cobweb. Day 67, I fixed the bunker problem right away by putting more torches down, but uh, take a look at this. Look how fast these zombies are. These are, these are fast, fast men. They almost got me while I was uh, going down to the bunker. They almost tagged me. I worked on the distraction trap by attaching a dispenser to it. Now lava would pulse in and out of the pit, and my hope was that it would confuse the zombies and they'd walk into it. Uh, I also replaced the dirt with slabs so that I could see better what was going on. And I got even more lava and set up another dispenser trap on the side of the compound. Now I felt like I got a, I had enough of these around the compound that if zombies were stacking up in any one place, I could burn them all. That night I watched the distraction trap and, uh, you know, it, it kind of worked. But I still wanted to find a way to, like, push the zombies into the pit, and, uh, that's where, that's where pistons were gonna come in. I worked on the distraction trap all day, the next day, uh, and I added the piston to it. I replaced one of the note blocks with it, and this should work better now. But that night, when I went back into my compound, there were, there were zombies all over. This was, this was getting ridiculous. You're making me hit my sheep. Oh! Look at this man on my roof. Can't have something like that, so I made even more torches and put them all around my compound again. Day 69. A day that has been historically rough for me in these videos, but you know what? The virus was about to mutate again, so this was one of my last opportunities to make a... make a supply run. I went to the jail, I got some string, uh, I also snatched some glowstone from the hardware store, and lastly, I grabbed some sand from the pond and uh, looted my old chest. I was not sure if I was going to be able to do this again. Ran home, and I'm glad I got home when I did, because it was another blood moon. I hit the alarm, triggered all the side dispensers, and went up into my house and watched. Everything was working. And the virus? Yeah, it was time for another mutation. Okay, uh, zombie hordes are they're bigger now. And they wander around on the surface, and they also follow me further, sense me from farther away, and have extra armor. Hey, that's... That's a lot. You know what? Hey, no problem. No problem for a man like me. So, it's getting real close to day 90 now. My base seemed to be safe, but, uh, who's, who knows what's gonna happen in those final 10 days. First thing I did was make the walkway above the farm a little bit nicer. So it didn't just look rough. I don't know. This looks better. I also wanted to change the distraction trap, uh, yet again, because, well, yes, I could activate it from inside, uh, I could not turn it off 
from inside. I wanted to fix that. And by the next morning, uh, I had it working. But now I was totally out of iron, so I wanted more. I went down to the bunker to mine and, uh, saw my lava trap was triggered, which, uh, meant that zombies spawned in the bunker. That's... One of the worst things that I could, uh, yeah, that's just not good. So I added glowstone to the ceiling to make it brighter, and hopefully that was enough to stop more from spawning down there. I got more iron, came back up from the bunker, and, uh, look at this! Two men got in somehow. I guess they spawned in a tree or something, but, uh, just look how fast these things are. The next day, I cut down more trees outside of my compound. Uh, hopefully that stops them from getting in. I went mining again, and I really need a lapis at this point, because, again, it was, it was day 72. My gear was still mostly iron. Uh, and none of it was enchanted, but I couldn't find any. I had mined a lot at this point, and found absolutely zero lapis so far. Which made me think, hey, uh, maybe there is no lapis in this biome. I'll figure that out later, because right now I had other stuff to attend to. Remember those mine tracks that I crafted a long time ago? Well, you know what? It's finally time to use them. This... This was gonna be my absolute last line of defense. If the zombies breached the wall, then, uh, got into the compound, chased me down into the bunker, and somehow got past my lava trap. This was what I was gonna do. I was gonna get in the minecart and go. The idea is that I would dig a super long tunnel that had a bunch of twists and turns so that it would break sight lines, and, uh, the zombies with their dumb zombie brains would have absolutely no idea where I went. The following day, I started adding power grails so that I could be a man who was going fast, but I ran out very quickly, so my plan was to make more with all that gold I found back in the church a while ago. And on day 74, I did just that. I made like a million of these tracks. So many of them. I was wanted to be going fast. I mean, a very fast man, so I dug the tunnel even deeper and started placing them down, uh, but I ran out of redstone. Regardless, the tunnel's pretty good at this point, and if the time comes, even now as it is, incomplete, uh, I still could fly out of my base. Ooh, day 75! Get, get ready for this one, this was a, a wild day, I'm telling you. Uh, since I needed a redstone, I decided to leave the safety of my compound, which was a mistake. I remembered that there was redstone blocks in Matatutu Village. So I got there, uh, got to the shrine, got the redstone, and, uh, I didn't get too greedy, but I felt like I got enough that I would probably never need redstone again. But it was still pretty early on in the day, and, uh, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna loot some additional houses since I'm here anyways, and, uh, who knows if I'll get another chance to do this. I lifted up some carpet in one of those houses and found, uh, like, a ladder that went down somewhere, and shot at by a bow, but, uh, it was fine, there was a sign that blocked it, so I, I took all that stuff. Uh, that was pretty good. And then I was leaving, I saw a log cabin in the distance. I'd seen it before, but I never checked it out. And since, hey, I still had some time, I thought, you know what? Let's go see what's going on over there. Oh yeah, there's a zombie here. Oh, there's two zombies! Oh! There's two of them. Three of them. Oh my god. I barely do any damage to this guy. This is one zombie! Oh my god, I have half a heart. Oh no! Oh my god, did you hear what's going on in there? Oh my god, no! There was villagers in here, and they were just killed! That's, uh, wow, very... One man gets tagged, and they all go down. Infection just ripped through all... I could have been trading with these guys this entire time. But no! Don't get to do that, because uh, now they're all dead. All of those men that were in there, all dead now. Dead, dead, dead. Anyway, you know what? Better them than me, that's what I always say. Climbed off the roof, and I saw a sign by the river that said, uh, Danger Upstream. So then I was sailing upstream, and, uh, before I knew it, I was, I was at a hospital. There's not a chance in hell I'm going in there. There's no way I'm going in there. I was not going in there, okay? If you watch a zombie movie and they go to the hospital, it is always a bad idea. It, it, someone always dies in one of those things. So, you know what? Not going in there. You want to know what's in there? You know what? Go find out yourself. Download this map. Again, it's, uh, it's on my Patreon. You, you, can, you can go in there and figure it out. Not me. Not on day 75. No. Uh, so I turned around, looted the chest, and, uh, got some good stuff. But it was getting dark. And, uh, on my way home, this happened. Oh! Oh, they're coming quick! They're coming quick! Oh, there's another one there. Okay. 
Oh, another one there. Oh, another group there. Oh, those guys are... Okay, they're coming quick. Oh, here they come. Okay. Oh, there comes those... Oh! Okay. This is not good. This is not good at all. Go a little bit higher. I used a lava bucket to kill a bunch of them, but... You see that? That man was swimming up lava. These things are... They are getting strong, and that is... That is not good for me. This scared me, so I... I jumped off and made a run for it. Okay, day 76, beautiful day. At some point I had found a javelin in one of the chests I looted and uh, I wanted to try it out. I want to try throwing it. I want to try, I want to try the javelin. You can't fault me in front of you to try the javelin. I know I shouldn't be going outside, but... One javelin throw. One javelin throw. Oh! They knocked me off. Why, why am I doing this stuff? Why am I doing this stuff? Why am I doing this stuff? Just stay in the compound, please, Sean. I'm begging you, please. Please. Please don't come outside anymore. Please don't be doing this stuff. Just, just, just don't do it. Wow, that was a good, that was a good decision. Anyway, so I got back to work on my evacuation tunnel. Uh, but I realized that it would make more sense if I was digging this thing further down where I could find diamonds. So, uh, I dug that thing down and, uh, kept digging. And for a good chunk of the day and night, I just kept going deeper and deeper. And guess what? Found nothing. So I just kept mining all throughout the next day too. And after all of that, I still had not found any lapis. What is going on here? I'm running out of time to figure that out, and uh, it's... You know what? I, I I don't know. I got back in my mine cart and uh, rode home. Alright, here we go. Come on. Come on, make it up this hill. Let's go. Yeah. Beautiful. Bring us right back. I love riding this thing. Day 78. Running out of days here to make the compound safe. In the morning, I took the dispensers off the front door and put them to the side. I made an additional piston for the distraction trap to increase the chances of zombies going into the pit. And I also wanted to make another trap, just an, an extra one, a nice simple one. Uh, basically, just one of the surface piston to push zombies into a good old zombie hole 3.0. The next day, I turned it on and uh, it worked. I couldn't even hear it from inside the compound, which meant that I could just leave it on. I also set up yet another dispenser trap, just so this place could be as safe as possible. Oh, what's that? Uh, another- time for another mutation. Okay, this is the one that I was worried about. Everything else, you can manage it. You can manage zombies that have more health. You can manage zombies that see you from further away. You can manage hordes. You can even manage the silent ones. But you know what's real hard to manage? When you got one of these things running at you, faster than you can run. It's also... It's also scary having these things come for you. Like, look at this. I was out getting wood or something, and just look at how fast these things are. Here they come. Look how fast they are. Look at them running. Yeah, these guys are fast. That end I was thinking, hey, you know what? I haven't had a blood moon in a while. Where all those things go? Oh, nah, hey, that's where they went. Alright, well, time to get inside and hit the alarm. So I dropped everything, set the alarm, and uh, I wanted to practice getting into the bunker. There's a zombie in here! There's, there's zombies in the, in the cart! It doesn't work! He's coming for me! I... I needed Lapis bad. I was just nine days away from an all-out siege, and I had mostly iron gear, and no enchants. Since I wasn't finding any lapis in this uh, dead swamp biome, I thought maybe I could find some more in a different biome. So I went to the old mine and uh, I got digging. Lapis! And tracks. Oh my god, this is the best news ever. I explored a little bit of the mine system because I couldn't help myself, uh, but I, once I got a couple things, I just got home. Not, not risking anything at this point. But when I got home, there, there was a problem. Projectile protection? What is that? Efficiency 1, efficiency 1, efficiency 1? Everything I tried to enchant was only level 1. These are all terrible! What's, uh, what's going on here? I'm a very confused man. The next day, I tried a different approach. I thought maybe, you know what, if I'm just the most confident man in the world, it will, uh, will work or something. I guarantee I will get infinity on my very first try here. 
And if I don't, then call me the craziest man alive. Alright, watch this. Infinity. Not even gonna try. Here we go. Infinity. Boom. Then I realized, you know what? This library is probably set up wrong. And there's, there's definitely hundreds of comments telling me that already by now. Well, you know what? If you left one of those comments, relax, my man. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix it. Okay, problem solved. I added uh, more bookshelves, but no, I ran out of wood. So I went to the bunker to get some, and then uh, this happened. That's good. That's good luck right there. A man doesn't just see three snails and nothing bad or nothing good happens to him. That's good. And then in the morning, I realized, you know, I, I still have the library wrong. And now there's probably even more comments saying a man like me got it wrong. But you know what? I, I figured it out, okay? Everything's all good. It's all good. Got it, uh, got it going. Found, uh, just moved everything around a little bit, shuffled it, and boom, look at that. Started seeing level three enchants now. I got at least protection three on all of my gear and protection four on my legs. Uh, I learned what smite did, and wow, smite four and unbreaking three on my sword. That's, uh, that's great. I also got a power four book, which I would later use on my bow, but not till I got infinity. The next day I wanted to mine, but uh, I forgot my clock, and I did not want to get caught down there at night, so instead I just spent the day gathering wood and made it home by sunset. I ran out of XP trying to get in infinity on my bow, uh, and I wanted that badly, so I spent the night killing zombies safely from inside the compound. I don't know why, but I went outside for a second and uh, immediately got overrun by zombies. Why do I do stuff like this? This was- this could have been very stupid. One hit took like half my health. Uh, so I stuck to killing them from inside. Oh, this is a great way for XP. Look at these men! They're so fast! Level 30, please. Come on. Get a man to level 30. Look, look at them all coming. Look at them all coming. They want- they want to come, uh, say hi. Here they come. Hey, how's it going? Look at all your legs go. These men are coming. Hello! Good to see ya. In the morning, I finally got infinity on my bow, and uh, power four. Then I spent the entire day enchanting more stuff, because in five days, that virus it was gonna pop open, and uh, this place... It was not gonna look the way it looks now. I still wanted to explore more of that uh, mine system I found, so on day 86, uh, I went back there. Oh! Okay, this is a horde, this is a horde! Got a horde! Look at that, this, this is a horde! Oh, behind me! Oh my god! They can get up! They can get up! Oh, go! Okay. Okay. Maybe the mine's not a good idea. Maybe a man like me doesn't go into the mine. I made it there. It was all good. Uh, I got down, started sneaking through the mine system, and I could hear a lot. And I mean a lot of zombies down there. I was very worried that I'd aggro them, and then I'd be a dead, dead man, if you know what I mean. Uh, but then, uh, I got a blood moon while I was down there. So I got out of the mine system, uh, closed it up, and just stuck to, like, 2x2 two two mining for the night. So it was much safer, and I even took it a step further by putting down single pieces of cobblestone every couple blocks so that if a zombie did spawn behind me, uh, this would block him from running me down. This might seem ridiculous, but you know what? Better safe than sorry, okay? I mined all night, and I did not find anything at all. In the morning, I slowly crawled back up to the surface, took a good hard look out of that door, and, uh, Made a run for it. I started working on an additional layer of defense for my compound. You ever hear about that guy, uh, Bowser? I'm like, uh, Mario's enemy? Yeah, you know that guy? Well, you know what? I'm gonna be just like that man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna surround my entire compound with lava. I know what you're thinking, hey, what's what was the point of all those dispensers along the walls? Well, they were good. They were good at dealing with zombies before they could break down walls, but when, uh, when a zombie can tear down your walls, you take things a little bit more seriously. Started digging a two block deep trench around the entire compound and filling it with lava. A zombie who could not figure out how to get past something like this. Or at least, I hoped they couldn't. My, my thought was this would deter zombies from even trying to break down my walls. Uh, but this was going to take a lot of lava, so I made even more buckets. The following day, I went back to the mine, got more lava, brought it back to the compound and poured it in. Got a decent chunk of it done here. I did the same thing on day 89, uh, but by nightfall, uh, I was done. The compound looked way worse, but you know what? At least it was safer, because it was finally time. It was time to start the zombie siege and find out if all the work I had done in the past 89 days was going to be enough to keep me alive through the final 10. The virus was about to make its biggest mutation yet.
Okay, so, uh, these things, these, these beasts can break blocks now. Just tear anything down, doesn't matter the block, they're, they'll take it down. They can also sense you through walls, and, uh, they will dodge attacks. Yeah, they'll just step right out of the way if you swing at them sometimes, so... This is it. This is where it gets... tough. First thing I did was watch the zombies from my window, see how they behaved. The good news was, was that they didn't seem to notice me up here. I was far enough away that nothing crazy happened. I was gonna have to leave, and once they knew that I was coming up here, they would... they would know where to find me. I got nice and close to one of the walls, made sure that there were no zombies outside of it, and went outside. I started putting up an additional two block high wall around the entire perimeter. The idea was that it would stop any zombies from seeing me. And you're probably wondering, hey, why, why didn't you just make the original walls like this? And, uh, you know what? I'm wondering the same thing too. Why didn't I do this? It would have saved me a ton of time, would have kept me way safer, and you know what? I don't know. I really don't know why I didn't. Because I'm, I'm not a smart person, that's probably why. They can still hear me through walls and sense me if I'm close enough, but at the very least, this is another layer for them to go through. That night, I went up to the watchtower and, uh, watched these guys try to get in. Look, they're digging in. They're digging in down there. But by the time they get in, the lava kills them. They, they kind of can get in. They, they're sort of making their way in. They break the dirt under the wall, uh, but the, the lava kills them. So, for the time being, the wall holds. At least until... At least until there's a blood moon. That's the real test. The next morning, two had breached the wall. They bro- they're breaking into the wall! You see that? Oh, he's in! They're in! How did you get through that? They're in! They're in! That was- what just happened? And what happened there? Was that lag? Was I about- I almost die from lag? All I knew was that just two got in, and they almost killed me. Imagine, uh, imagine a blood moon. Think about how many spawned then. Well, you know what? You did not have to- you don't have to imagine it, because that night I got a blood moon. A blood moon is rising. Okay. Okay. That's what I trained for. They're digging- they're digging the ground up a little. They're gonna dig into here. Okay, 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 okay. Go, 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 go. My plan was to get up to the second floor of my house, and if I needed to, to go down to my bunker. They're dig- They're gonna get in. They're gonna get in. They're in. They're in. They're in. They're coming right in. Oh my god. Oh my god, the whole horde's gonna get in. That's exactly where I can't have them. I can hear them breaking the windows down there. Oh my god! I need to get to the bunker. I need to get to the bunker. Okay, I, well, I can't go down there. I can't go down there. Oh my god, they're all coming in. They're digging in there too. The walls are not holding. They're gonna break the roof out from underneath me. Bunker. Go, 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 go down the hill. It's lagging. Go, go, go. You have to hit the trap. Hit it. Go. Go. I got down to the bunker and I uh, waited the night out. I. I don't know what to say. In the morning, I cautiously went back up to the surface to see how much damage they had caused. They chased me down here. Oh my god. Oh my god. They tunneled right into my house. Look at that, like termites. Oh! Uh, these guys did some damage. Look at- look at all of this. They went nuts, they blew holes through my wall, dug tunnels under everything, destroyed a bunch of my- They went- they were crazy guys. My favorite part was how they broke all of my traps. Yeah, all the stuff that I'd spent all this time building. Disabled. I uh, wouldn't be doing anything anymore. So, that was- that was good. I spent the whole day rebuilding my house, and uh, I did as much as I could, but I was hungry. I was a very hungry man, so I finally decided to harvest my livestock. And so I would not be needing to farm them anymore. I don't even think I could farm them if I wanted to, because this was too much going on. Like this, another blood moon. So I ran straight for the bunker this time, and uh, here we go again. 
When I got down to the safety of my bunker, I started cooking all my meat. And I cracked open a chicken egg. And that, uh, chicken went nuts. I mean, it started pecking me. What the? The guy. I don't, that was... What just happened there? Tell me what happened there. It seemed like my bunker was a decent solution for blood moons. I was very glad that I decided to make this thing. The next morning when I came back up, I, I guess the chickens got like infected or something because yeah, these things started pecking me too. Oh my god, the chickens are attacking me. Look at this. Why are the chickens attacking me? They're going nuts. The, the chickens are zombified. I repaired my pickaxe, went outside, and I started slaughtering chickens. Did not know that uh, zombie chickens were going to be a problem for me in the final 10 days. My entire compound was also trashed still, uh, so I started working to fix it again. And then the zombies came back. Look at that, they're, you can see them digging. They're digging tunnels below my base. Yeah, there they are. Digging, digging away. Look at them down there. I ended up trapped on my roof. They got into my house. I tried to sleep that night, but I couldn't. I didn't want to stay up here on my roof because there were a lot of zombies down below and that noise was going to attract even more zombies and then they would all start multiplying and before I knew it, I would be just stuck up here with no food and it would be bad. So I made a run for it. I jumped off the roof and ran for the bunker. I made it and then I slept. The following day, I made more repairs. Each night, more and more stuff got destroyed, so the next morning, I'd just repair it and just hope that more didn't get in. This, this wasn't good, because even during the day, they were still getting in and sneaking up on me, and it was only a matter of time before one tagged me and uh, took me down. So I had an idea, an additional layer of defense. You ever see that movie, Captain Phillips? You know, uh, Tom Hanks, and like a captain, like pirates and stuff like that? You know what they do in that movie? They Use water jets to get the pirates away. And I thought, you know what? It's a, there's something there. Maybe I can do something like that. So I filled a bunch of buckets of water, went outside and started making a water barrier. The idea that this, this outflowing water would prevent zombies from even getting to my wall in the first place. And if they couldn't get to my wall, couldn't break it down, couldn't dig under it, couldn't do anything. You just doing this was a, it was a bit of a risk to be outside for that amount of time, but eh, I had to do, I had to do it, you know? I worked on it the next day, and uh, I felt like my man Captain Phillips. Look at this. No zombies getting past that. No way. The compound looks terrible now, but at the very least, it's I'm a safe man. I tested it out the following day, and it seemed to work. This gave me enough confidence to be able to start fully rebuilding my compound. So I started uh, putting the correct blocks back in place and just removing all the haphazard uh, repairs I did. By the end of the day, I had it looking had it looking a lot nicer. Things were starting to look a little bit normal again. Continued doing that on and to and through day 97. I had nearly everything fixed by the end of the day. So uh, I went up to the watchtower at night and just started taking pot shots at zombies with my bow. Day 98. Almost there. I started walking along the wall and killing zombies. I did not want any building up and attracting more zombies and, and somehow having to push each other past the wall. I, I just wanted to get rid of it before it came a problem. I also uh, climbed down into one of those zombie holes that they had dug underneath my compound and filled it with torches. Uh, hopefully this would stop them from spawning down here, because that was, I was getting annoying. But now the virus was going to mutate for one final time. This was, uh, this is the worst one yet. Zombies, well, there was, first of all, there was a 100% chance of a blood moon. I, I was getting one tonight, no matter what. Zombies now do way more damage. Way more. And uh, worst of all, they can build. These men can build right up to you. And they can sense you from very far away now, much further than before. Some of them also will spawn with TNT so they can just blow into anything they have. That's... that's... Yeah, this. Uh, let's see what happens, you know? This is it. This is where a man either sees it all come crashing down, or he walks out of this compound as a survivor. I was, uh, really hoping for the second one. Really wanted that one. That day I went out to repair my traps, because, uh, I was going to need them tonight. But when I went out there to do that, a zombie almost blew me to bits. Oh! Oh, he's got TNT! Oh my god! I got all my traps fixed. I got my bow repaired. Got a bunch of food, and I climbed up into the watchtower for one last time. You see, tonight... Tonight I had no plans on hiding. 
I was gonna defend my compound. Or die trying. This was it. The final fight. Let them come. This is it. This is the final light. I'm a man who's really hoping he survives this. There it is. Blood Moon. Here they come. Here they come. You know what? Come! All of you, come! I'm taking you all down. Okay, that's a lot of them. Look at all those ones at TNT! Okay, they're getting closer. Oh my god, they're in, they're in. Go down, go down! Oh! They're in, they're in! Try it. Go, go! Go! Okay. No. No. Did you hear that? Uh, you know, change of plans. I was leaving that tower immediately. There's absolutely no way a man could survive something like that. No way I'm dying on day 99, so uh, I spent the night in the safe room. That's why it's uh, here. Remember when I said that uh, making these rails was the single best decision I made? Yeah, here's why. I needed them to get out of there. Uh, so I spent the night down there, and then I returned to the surface on day 100 as a man who was very much alive. That's day 100. <sighs> there it is, my man. It's day 100. Look, they're still trying to get in. What are you guys going to do? You can't take me down. I almost went straight into there. It's day 100. You can't take a man like me down. When the smoke cleared, why did I say that? There's no smoke. No smoke at all. I don't to write that. My compound was in rough shape, but I was alive. I made it. Yeah, there it is. I did the impossible. Survived a hundred days. Hundred days of just onslaught of zombies, you know? How do you like this one? You like this one? What uh what theme should I do next? Leave a comment and I'm uh, all ears, you know? Before you go, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Uh, you're gonna, well, you definitely want to do something like that. And if you haven't, subscribe, okay? And my man's just one last time, a big thanks to my man's over at Dragon City for sponsoring this video. God, really helps me out. If you want, if you're a fan of dragons, I'm telling you, if you're a dragon guy, you gotta, you gotta check this game out, okay? It's for the dragon lovers out there. Again, look at this man. How can you say no to a man like that? It's like a mime or something. I don't know. Link's in the description, okay? C come be a dragon lover. Big thanks to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. I I'll see you soon, okay? Mm -hmm.